morning. Welcome to FM Corner. I'm your host, Danny Coons, Director of Relationship Management at Windy City. Today we're going to talk about four main functions of a facility manager. As you know, being a facility manager has got tons of stuff that you're responsible for. And typically the better that you do them, the more that gets added to them. So your job starts out as this and it ends up being this. Usually that's a result of getting this done, so let's just keep going and give them more. It's not hard to kind of stray away from what are the essentials. What are the core functions of your job? Today I want to talk about what I think are four essential functions of a facility manager and what their role is. The first one is support people. Support your people. Support the people that work on your team, that are part of your team. Support the other teams that also help your department be successful. That could be finance, that could be legal, that could be construction, any accounting, any of those departments. They're gonna help you and help your department. So you support them. When they need something, give it to them. So that when you ask them, they're gonna give it back to you. It's always a two-way street. Support the people on your team. Believe in the age old adage. I want all my folks to be better than me someday. That's the way you teach. You want them to be better. Reflection of all your people someday being better for you, people go, oh no, that'd look bad. No, it doesn't. Looks really good. Looks really good. Look what you did for them. You really helped them and helped them grow and they actually took a job and they became better at it. That's good. That's good. Every time. So support your people. Support your customer. Who's your customer? In the restaurant business, typically the people in operations. That is your customer. That's who you support. Day in, day out. What do they need? How can I help you? And how can I make it work? Support is teaching them. Help them not make mistakes. Show them when something went wrong, why it went wrong, so they have a chance to prevent that moving forward. It's not just you need a piece of equipment, I'll order it for you and get it to you. How can I help you not make a mistake as it goes forward or make you aware of something that you need to know? It's supporting your vendors. Your vendors are your partners. We've talked about this in other sessions before. Support your partner. Help them. You're the one that picked them to go in the restaurant. Help them be successful. Defend them when they're right. The hardest thing to do. Defend them. That's who you pick. You have responsibility in that. Work with them. Try to make them better. So support people, number one goal. Number two, establish processes. This is how we do it, and these are the processes that we're gonna follow. Every single time that you almost look at mistakes that are being made over and over, it's because there's not a process, or there is a process that nobody follows. That tells you one of two things. The process is not good, needs to be changed, or you need to reinduce that process, introduce it, to people and then hold them accountable to follow it. It was set up for a reason. First verify, is it still right? Is it still what we need to do? And then hold people accountable to it. Most things get messed up because there's not a process. Point A doesn't go to B, goes to C, goes to D. They go from A to D. When they skip B and C and that's what happened. Especially in communication, where people get left out of the loop or don't know about it and then or called in at the last minute to try to jump in and do something, which is not. You have a process, this is what we do. Establish those processes. Keep them as simple as you can and as quick and efficient as you can. There's no gold star for having 100 of them if you only need 50. And there's no gold star for 50 if you need 20. But have a process that people can follow to get the job done. It's also a great training tool when new people come in. This is. This is our process. These are our processes of what we do as a facilities department. Ask those new folks when they come in, after they read them, they have questions. Let me bring up something that you need to add. You know, they don't know a lot about the facility world and they maybe don't know a lot about facilities inside your own company of which they've just joined. But they may have really good outside information that they bring up that makes you pause and go, huh, I need to work on that. That might be a good idea. I can add that to that. So, because they're going to give you unfiltered info. They're just going to give you what comes in their mind when they look at your processes and what you do. Establish processes is number two. Number three, main job facility manager. Facility upkeep and improvements. Fix it, repair it, get new. Keep it maintained. 
That's your job. And that involves everything. And that's from equipment to the landscaping, to the signs, to the grease traps, to tile in the kitchen. Pick one. You have a hundred of those things. Your, your job is to keep those in good order. It's an expanded version of your house. Something breaks in your house, you call somebody, you fix it. In the restaurant, you have different types of challenges, but you still use the same, same process. You call someone to fix it for you. Keep it maintained. There is a standard of which your restaurants or company goes by. This is the standard. Your job as a facility manager is to keep, help keep those properties inside that standard of what is expected as the company and make improvements, make it better, you know, provide suggestions, go look at, go see what the challenges are. How can I make this better? What is a way to do this? Can I do something with saving money? You know, is there an idea that I have? If I use rock for landscaping versus bushes, is that a good thing in certain part of the country? Probably is. Probably will save you money over time because you're not replacing all those bushes every so often, you know. What, what can you do? So think out of ways to make it better and improve it while at the same time you're out there maintaining it. So maintaining facility upkeep and improvements is number three. And number four, integrations that make you and your team better. What can I do? And that can be technical. That can be a change in, in the how we do certain things. Maybe you change your PM scheduling. Um, because it works better with operations, it lines up better with their quarterly budgets, whatever it may be. How do I find new ways? As a facility manager, you talk to other facility managers. There's no better resource on earth than ask them what they do with certain things that you might be struggling with. What do you do about this? Huh, that's interesting. I'd like to try it. Let's see what that is. Find out what they do. So keep working every day. Keep finding stuff. What's tech? tech that will help, what will help my team, what will help the people in the field, what, what will help understand all that, and how do I make that better? And that never stops. If you've been a facility manager in your company for a long period of time, how your facility department looks today compared to 10 years ago should be radically different because you should work on improving every day. What's new, what's out there that I can do or try or look at to see how to be more efficient and better for the people that I serve. Those are the four. Teach, communicate, assist, and educate. That's what your job is. That's it for today. Thank you very much for listening. Remember, advice is always free on FM Corner at Windy City, and look forward to talking to you next time.